guys, today we're going to draw an old-fashioned money bag. Yeah, a cartoon money bag. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first and then a marker. Also, some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're first using the pencil to draw the general shape of our money bag. Let's start up here. We're going to draw it really big too. We're going to draw a curve that comes down. I'm going to draw it darker so that our art friends can see the line, but you guys can draw it lighter so that it's easier to erase. Then we're going to come across the bottom and then we're going to come back up to the top and we can get closer together at the top, but leave some space up here. Almost like it's going to connect. Yeah. Let's draw the top of the money bag coming out. And then between these two lines, let's draw a wavy line to connect the two. Let's draw the other side of the money bag. I'm going to draw another wiggly line coming across. Maybe it, it connects here. On yours, it's a little different, so you can change it. Yeah, that looks cool. And maybe we can imagine it coming around and looping to the other side. That way it looks like a sack and you can put money inside of it. Okay, now let's draw the rope that's keeping it tied together. We can draw, let's draw three lines. So it looks like it's wrapped around twice. Now at the end, we can draw, let's connect those lines on the end with a little curve to make the rope look more three-dimensional. Yeah, and the top one too. Oh, and we can also draw the rope sticking out to the side. Let's draw two lines coming out, diagonal. And then we can draw an, also a curve connecting those two. Let's do two more lines or another end to the rope, like it's tied. And then we can draw another curve right here. That's the general shape of our money bag. Let's switch to our marker and we're going to add more details to make it look even cooler. Let's start here on the side and we're going to draw on top of the pencil line coming down. We can stop maybe halfway and then we can add a wrinkle. Let's start up here. And we're going to come out and then connect to that line and come down further and then we'll stop down here. Then right at the end, let's add a little corner to the bag. We're going to draw a shape that comes out past the pencil line and then back in. Next, let's draw the bottom of the money bag. We're going to draw it coming across on top of the pencil line. I'm going to leave a little space so we can draw another corner. Let's draw that shape coming out past the pencil line and then back in. <laughs> and we can make sure that this bottom line connects to the corner too. All right, now let's draw the right side of our money bag. I'm going to start here, maybe on the inside of the corner, come out to the pencil line, back in, and then maybe this one goes all the way up to the ropes. And then we can add that pencil line. We can draw on top of the pencil line to finish the bag. Cool, now let's draw the rope. We can draw it just on top of the pencil line. I'm going to go around and even look, I'm going to draw past and the side of the rope. Let's draw the side of the rope over here and then we can connect to the other side too. Let's do the same thing for the other part of the rope that's coming around. We're going to just trace over the pencil line and connect in. Let's also draw the end of the rope. We can just trace over top of the pencil line for one end. And then the same thing for the other end. And I made it shorter. I didn't want to make it as long. <laughs> now let's draw the top of our money bag. We'll draw the line coming out of the rope on the left side and then also on the right side. And then let's trace on top of the pencil line to finish the top of our bag. We could add a few more wrinkles. I'm going to draw one here, maybe one here. Could add some coming down from the top too. 
maybe one more or oh, two more little ones down here at the bottom. Oh, we could draw two little ones coming out of the bottom of the rope too. Let's switch back to our pencil, but let's use the eraser and we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines or the guidelines that you can still see. This part will speed up or fast forward. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to erase your guidelines too. It just looks like a regular uh, bag with a rope around it. Let's turn it into a money bag. We need the dollar sign. So we're using our biannual markers, but you could use any other brand of marker or even colored pencil. We're gonna start by drawing the letter S right in the middle of our bag. I'm gonna draw it really big too. And I'm gonna go over it a couple times and make it thicker, really thick. That looks really cool, Adley. You could even make it a little thicker too. Then let's add a line right down the middle. You could add two, but let's keep it simple. We'll just add one right down the middle. And I'm gonna go back over it a couple times and make it thicker. Also, just like the letter S. Now let's switch back to our Sharpie and we're gonna trace around this dollar sign. And so we can go around just the outside shape. So we're not gonna draw all the way through. We're just gonna trace the outside shape of the yellow. So we'll come here and then we're gonna go down. And then like this shape right here, we can trace the inside like that. All right, this part will fast forward again. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to trace around your dollar sign. That looks like an old fashioned cartoon money bag. It looks really cool, except we still need to color it. Yeah, the color of the rest of the bag. Now we are gonna fast forward again, so remember to pause the video, and at the end you can match our same coloring. With our biannual markers, we're gonna use Y529 for the color of the rope, and then the color of the bag, we're using Y611. You also might use Y423 for shading. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it, we finished drawing our money bag. It looks so cool. I really like the gold coins that we added. I do too. You could also add even more coins or even more money bags. Maybe they're overlapping and it looks super 3D. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a money bag. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.